Hey guys, my name is Nick Antonian, and I shit you not, I almost passed away making a YouTube video. Would I do it again? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I woke up in the morning, I watched a couple videos on dudes jumping dirt bikes over half pipes. I thought it'd be really funny to jump a moped off a half pipe into a pool. So I called my boy David. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, I have the best idea in the world. I'm pretty sure we had the half pipe already. Dude, it was a full blown fucking half pipe. It wasn't like one of those like kitty half pipes you get from Toys R Us. <laughs> it was as tall as I am. I'm like 5'2". I'm not, I'm not 5'2". I'm like 5'4"-ish. The only thing we didn't have was a moped. And luckily the dude I found the moped from on Craigslist <laughs> lived like 10 minutes away from my house. I walk up to the door and knock on the dude's door. Keep in mind, it's like 8 a.m. at this point. He walks out with boxers and flip flops. <laughs> he had like six mopeds. He's like a moped dealer in his backyard. It was the weirdest fucking thing in the world. So he points me to a moped. He's like, yeah, dude, that's the one. And he hopped on the moped and it wouldn't start. <laughs> it didn't start for like a good like nine or 10 tries. And then finally it just started coughing up, literally like black smoke, like coughing out of the fucking back pipe and stuff. This sounds completely stupid, but the first time I ever driven a moped was in fucking Florida. I was like 17 or 18. I rented a moped that was going like 25, 26 miles per hour. I accidentally drove it into a freeway. And the shitty thing was there was no fucking U-turn. I was crossing a bridge and this truck, the dude's pissed off. He comes over at me and I'm looking at him like my little tiny ass helmet. Get the fuck off the freeway. Dude, I'm already on, I don't know where to turn, all right? Just please forgive me. <laughs> the guy pulls right in front of me. It was a diesel truck. So he, he just pressed the gas and I get lost in black fucking smoke. I fucking bolted out of the black smoke like fucking Liam Neeson. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing, dude. So that was that was the first time I ever driven a moped. And then this was the second time. <laughs> it was off a fucking half pipe. It was at my boy Jason's house. So I pulled up, <laughs> I walked in with a big ass moped. <laughs> And everyone's just like chilling on the couch. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm ready. Let's do it. Try to jump a moped off a half pipe into a pool. You know, I'm really pumped up. Everyone's like, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Dude, I'm gonna do it. Like, <laughs> I bought the moped, I'm gonna do it. Cause in my head, I'm like, dude, it's fine. It's water, you know, nothing's gonna fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. Worst case scenario, I break an arm, whatever. That's why I fucked up. That's why I fucked up really bad. <laughs> but guess who cheated that? This guy right here. <laughs> and I'm still alive. A lightning just strikes me. <laughs> I fucking die at a studio. <laughs> Went to the backyard, set it all up. I was looking at the half pipe. For some reason, the half pipe was looking back at me. I don't know how the hell that happens. There was one of my friends there. He was really pissed off. He's like, dude, get off the moped. You're gonna end up killing yourself. It's gonna be terrible. Anything can happen. Dude, you're not holding me back. And I remember he was so pissed. He punched the windshield of the moped and his hand burst open. His hand was bleeding and I looked up. I'm like, are you really that? <laughs> are you really that mad about this? <laughs> All right, fine, he's a little pissed off. His eyes are tearing up. I should probably get the fuck off the moped. I got off the moped and everyone was kind of bummed out and I was bummed out, <laughs> but my adrenaline wouldn't hold me back. And then I get up, I'm like, yo, come to the backyard. I hopped on the moped and gunned it. <laughs> and all I hear is my, my friend Josh yelling, more speed. <laughs> and I'm like, I got it. <laughs> I, I guess, accelerated more than I should have. I hit 30 within 10 feet <laughs> on a tiny moped. So I'm going, I jump off the half pipe. As soon as I hit the half pipe, I look down. I went at least 12 foot high. I felt like I was the Neil Armstrong of YouTube. And it came crashing down so hard. The moped hits the edge of the pool, and then I just fly with my side right onto the edge of the pool. All I see is a little moped deep down, like nine feet into the pool. It, it, it felt like a car accident. I can't even describe how bad it hurt, dude. I ended up in the pool. Obviously, I got out of the pool. I looked down, and I could have sworn, dude, it literally looked like a fucking gunshot. There's this huge hole in the side of my stomach. All right, who has a gun? <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Our friend grabbed the SD cards. <laughs> he grabbed the laptop. He's like, all right. Footage into the editing room. Johnny, you go to the hospital. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. So my friend's editing, and I'm dressed in a white gown. The doctor walks in. He's like, listen, uh, you probably don't want to hear this, but there's a 50% chance you might pass away because we suspect that you ruptured a spleen. <laughs> and soon as you hear this coming from a doctor, you kind of just accept it all. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Death is going to be so hard. You know, you got to let the people around you go. 
Well, I already let the people around me. I, I literally, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm accepting it, dude. I love all you guys, but if I if I go, I go. I, I know I'm laughing at this. I feel like I sound like a psychopath. <laughs> is, that, is that crazy that I that I, I accepted? I mean, it might be a little crazy or whatever, but I was on my deathbed with loving friends around me. Literally, my mom was sitting in the hospital room. The doctor walks in, he's like, you're gonna make it. I was like, what? Because <laughs> my mom had no idea that there's a 50% chance of me passing away. He was gonna die. Uh, but guess who's alive? This guy right here. Look at me now, on TV, almost. So my friend's sitting right next to me. He's editing the footage. Sure, it's a little crazy that we're editing in the hospital room. <laughs> He's literally holding my hand. And I look right into his eyes. I'm like, dude, we got some fire content. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that video did great. I was so proud of it. I couldn't stop, I still can't stop talking about it. It's been two years.